Welcome to the Health eCareers Create a Resume tutorial. In the next few minutes we will go over the process of creating a personalized resume using our resume builder. In this tutorial we will go over the two basic elements of creating your unique resume, entering your information and formatting the look of your resume. To begin creating a resume go to the navigation bar on the left side of the page and click on the My Resume tab. From this page, click on the Add Resume button. This will give you three ways to add a resume. For the purpose of this tutorial, select Create Resume. The Create Resume template is composed of eight sections. Contact information, additional information, work eligibility, objective, education, training, license certification, work history, and other. This tutorial will focus on a few key sections, but you are encouraged to fill all sections that relate to you. Let's begin. To start, name your resume. Be sure to use letters and numbers only. When you're done, select Save. Remember to always save each section separately every time new information is entered. To enter information in one of the sections, just click on the gray bar. Let's start with the contact information. This includes your name, mailing address, phone number, and email address. Enter all of the required information in the fields. Everything with asterisks beside it is a required field. If you have any additional contact information you want to include, just select the Add Another Contact button. Once you have completed this section, select Save. You will know the information has been saved when the gray bar for that section changes from not saved to saved. Click on the gray bar again to collapse the contact information section. Next is the additional information section. This section is where licensure, employment eligibility, and language skills are filled in. Once you have completed this section, select save. Next, let's add an objective. Here you can add a sentence that relates to your desired position. Once you have completed this section, select Save. Next is Education. It is recommended that you start with your most recent educational experience. Start with the school name, the location, and then the years attended. Select the diploma box if you have graduated from this program. Then specify the type of program. Click on Add an Education Entry to add subsequent educational accomplishments. If you have any additional education information, just enter it here in the Additional Information box. Once you have completed this section, select Save. There are sections for Training and License Certification. If you do not need these sections, go straight to Work History. In the Work History section, it is recommended that you start with your most recent employment. Start with the dates of employment and the job title, then the name of the employer and the location. Select Contact Permitted if this employer can be used as a reference. There is also a field to add a brief description of your responsibilities. Click on Add a Work History Entry to add subsequent employment experiences. If you have any additional work history information, just enter it in this additional information box. Once you have completed this section, select Save. Now that you have entered all the necessary content, it's time to format the look of your resume. You will be able to modify the look and layout of your resume using three simple editing tools. You can modify the text type, the color, and the order of the sections of content. To rearrange the order of how sections are displayed, simply put your cursor on the section you want to move. Click and drag the section to the new location, then release your cursor to drop it into place. To modify the style of the text on the resume, simply select from the five different choices available by clicking on it. The changes will happen instantly. Making your color treatment selection is done in the same way. To change the color, simply select from the five choices and instantly view your selection below. Once you are done with formatting your layout, select Save Changes. 
You can go back to the content section of the resume builder at any time to edit your information, but remember to always save anything that has been changed. To preview your resume, click on the Preview Resume button. This will open up another window to display a copy of the resume you have just created. You're all done! If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thanks for watching and good luck with your job search.